Hello guys and girls, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on partitions and formatting disks and allocation unit sizes and file systems. So we're going to go through all of these options and we're going to do it all in the command prompt window. Now you can also do this if you want to align partitions before you install Windows for example. You can do this uh, by just opening the command prompt window before installing Windows uh, by pressing the keys Shift, Shift plus F10 and it will open an administrator window uh, I mean command prompt window with administrator privileges and you'll be able to do everything we're gonna do here right now. So if you wanna format your, uh, your disk it can be a USB like uh, we're gonna use in this example or it can, or it can be a, a hard drive. Now in order to get some information about our disks we're gonna enter this little tool called, called disk part and we're gonna type in list disk and we can see that we have five disks available, five disks total but there's more partitions than there are disks because uh, you know one, disks, one disk can have many partitions so in order to find out which disk is ours, we're gonna help ourselves by first we're gonna exit disk part with control C and we're gonna type in WMIC partition get name and index. Alright. So this is another little handy tool. We can see that there's disk zero with four partitions disk 1 with 1 partition, disk 2 with 3 partitions, and so on and so forth. Now, um, the reason we're doing this, actually, is because we have two disks of the same size here, and we're just not sure which one is our USB. Alright? Uh, and we're gonna enter disk part again, and now instead of listing disks, we're gonna list volumes. Alright? And we can see the name Windows 7 blah 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 here as volume 11. And this is always going to be listed in ascending order, in disk ascending order. So disk 1 is going to be the first. Alright, so we can see here that disk 1, or actually disk 0, sorry, disk 0 is going to be the first. Disk 0, we can, as we can see, has four partitions. That means that volume 0, volume 1, volume 2 and volume 3 they all they're all in disk 0 alright disk 1 has only one partition and so volume 4 is actually disk 1 and we can see that its size is 29 gigabytes and we know that this is not our USB because it doesn't have the right name right so, as we can see, Windows 7 is actually disk 4 with capacity of 29 gigabytes. Once we've identified our disk, we can select disk and then type in the number, in our case 4, select disk 4. Now we can list partition to see how many partitions we have and as we already know, we only have one partition. As it says right here, disk 4, partition 0 just one partition and uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this disk. Now you have to be very careful with this step because once you type in clean and press enter the disk is gonna be completely wiped and there is no way back. So if you're not sure what you're doing I would recommend to unplug any other disks with sensitive data or you can also uh, just eject them, but uh, it's, it's way safer to unplug them. Anyway, we can see that disk 4 is selected. Uh, you can see this asterisk right next to the disk 4. We know that disk 4 is our USB now. And uh, we're gonna simply clean it and let's see what happens. Disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. It's very fast. Now you can see that the disk is here, uh, looks strange right now, uh, th the name is still here but that's okay. Alright, now on the right hand side we can see uh, the, 
the partition type. Uh, it can be GPT or it can be MBR. Now, for example, disk 4 wasn't in GPT format because Windows 7 does not work on GPT because this is something newer. Alright? So, if we want this disk to be GPT, we simply type in convert GPT. Alright? And let's check what happens. And disk 4 is now GPT. If we want to convert it back, we can simply go convert MBR. Now, fun fact, uh, if you're going to use the USB for, uh, for radios, it's safer to convert it to MBR because GPT might not get recognized, just like Windows 7 that doesn't recognize GPT. Alright, now that we've converted it, uh, we can format the disk uh, as we would here. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a partition now. Okay, what we're going to do is type in create partition primary and then you can put in the size if you're going to create more partitions but in our case we're going to create just one partition but uh, if you would you would just type in size equals in megabytes but we're not going to do that. Just create partition primary. Alright, list partition. We have one partition now on our disk and now we're gonna format it. Format file system equals FAT32 quick and it should be over pretty soon. Should take about yeah that was like 10 seconds or something and you can see that uh, <laughs> this bar is here again we can use the drive and uh, but we haven't touched the allocation unit size, have we? No, so we're gonna do this now. The default allocation unit size was uh, obviously 16 kilobytes for FAT32. We're gonna change it to 64 now. So, we're gonna do format file system equals FAT32 and unit, which stands for unit size, equals, and we're gonna uh, enter value in kilobytes, so 64. Oh, sorry, this is in bytes. So, 64, 382. This is the power of 2, come on. That's like... Uh, let's do this. Oh, alright. Uh, my bad right there. So, unit size in bytes. And we're gonna see if this worked. Allocation unit size should now be 64 kilobytes. So, in case you get stuck, and I just uh, found out why we're stuck. Well, we're not stuck, but this is going to take ages. Now, we, we didn't do the quick format option. We just did the normal format option, and this will take ages. And if you want to cancel it, you can do so by, again, pressing Ctrl plus C. But there's a problem now. Uh, your USB drive is now unusable. I think you can't even format it like this. It will say you don't have the sufficient rights to perform this. So we're gonna quickly just uh, repeat everything we've done. Select disk 4. It's always gonna be disk 4 right now. Uh, this number won't change unless you change the order of your disks. All right. Um, we're gonna clean it again and then we're gonna create a new partition again and then we're gonna format it. Create partition primary new. Oh, just create partition primary. All right. And format file system equals FAT32. Unit equals to 655. What was it again? 536 quick and this should be all right <laughs> this was very fast let's see if it worked format allocation unit size 64 kilobytes that's great and so now we have a drive that's been formatted uh, to our file system of choice 
our, our allocation unit size was chosen to be 64 kilobytes, which, which is great for music, definitely better than 8 kilobytes or 4 kilobytes. So if you're dealing with large files like, um, like music files, pick the, the highest allocation unit size you can. And if you're dealing with system files, uh, then your... No, I can't format this volume, but can I... Yeah, I can't see the allocation unit size for my system disk. But if you're dealing with system files, your allocation unit size should be 4 or 8 kilobytes. Now, another thing uh, to pay attention to is if our partition is actually aligned. Now, when you're aligning partitions, uh, if you're going to create multiple partitions, so uh, let's say you want to create a partition of size, I don't know, 128 megabytes, uh, you only have to align the first partition you make. Alright, so we're going to create one partition with size of 128 megabytes and we're going to align it to, uh, this number is in kilobytes, we're going to align it to 4 kilobytes. Now you can also put in 8 or 16, anything that's divisible by 4, but don't complicate it, just align it to 4 kilobytes. Alright, so we've got one partition now and uh, so you want two partitions for example and if you create the second partition like this without specifying the size, it's going to take all of the remaining available space. All right, And you don't have to align it anymore. So just like this, and then we're going to list partitions. And we should have two partitions, one that's of 128 megabytes in size and the second one that's uh, approximately tw uh, 29 gigabytes. And that's exactly what happened. And the offset here is 32 kilobytes, but we have to check the offset with WMIC uh, partition get name uh, index and starting offset disk 4, we have two partitions this is divisible by 4 kilobytes and this should be as well because we only added uh, because the starting offset is divisible by 4 kilobytes on the first partition and the second partition uh, is of exactly 128 megabytes in size and this 128 megabytes is also divisible by 4 kilobytes because 1 megabyte is, uh, you know, 1024 kilobytes and this is always going to be divisible by 4. But uh, we can double check if you want and we're going to check if 32768 is divisible by 4 kilobytes and we're going to check if 13526304 is, is divisible and they're both divisible, uh, the partitions are aligned and that's it. Now after we've aligned uh, we still have to format the disk again, so again enter disk part, select disk and format system equals fat32 for example with unit size of 64 kilobytes and we do a quick format no volume is selected so yeah select partition 0 oh right uh, the partitions start with number 1, not with number 0. So select partition 1. If you have two partitions, uh, you're going you're gonna to have to format both of them. All right. Cluster size is too big. Okay, just, just format it like this. Select partition 2 and format it to 64 kilobytes. And that's it. Now you only have the first partition here. That's because we haven't assigned a letter to the second partition. Okay? So, the partition 1 partition 1 has been assigned letter E. Now, partition 2 hasn't been assigned any letter and so we can see it here and we're gonna assign it a letter right now uh, since it's already selected 
we're just gonna do, do a sign letter and let's say letter X which is a bad idea I think but here it is we have two partitions uh, the first one with allocation new in size of one kilobyte I suppose because it's uh, it's this small all right and the second one should have the allocation new in size of 64 kilobytes both are of the file system fat 32 and everything is working and that's it we've aligned the partitions we've made two partitions and our USB drive is ready for use I hope this helped you uh, I hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something new and uh, have a great day